Hi everybody, it's Lee and Bridget from King Harvest and KingHarvest.org. We are here to ask and answer some questions about tremors, seizures, and spasticity. Okay, so the first question is, um, how can cannabis help with spasticity and tremors? It helps profoundly. I can tell you from personal experience that uh, within an hour from the point of first ingestion of the correct type of, type of cannabis oil, you'll experience profound relief from that kind of like tension in the body, that kind of rigidity. Um, you know, the nervous system with too much electricity in it, too much rigidity, um, whether uh, it's manifesting itself like RLS or ALS or a, in my case, a seizure disorder. Um, in someone with a spectrum disorder, it could be like small spasticity and stimming, right? right? But there's a compulsion, um, whether voluntary or involuntary in the body, um, that's both physical, but it's also, in many cases, emotional. Right. So if you can calm down the body and calm down the patient or the person, you'll see a break in that feedback loop, like usually within the first hour, right? right? Mm -hmm. And in a lot of cases, from the point of first ingestion, those those tremors and those, those symptoms are gone for good. Mm -hmm. So we see on a regular basis, uh, from seizure disorders to spasticity problems, tremors, um, big bad seizures and stuff like that, cannabis oil will really help. It'll knock it down. Um, you'll start to see the frequency, you know, uh, decrease mm -hmm. or they'll go away altogether. Like in my case, no pharmaceuticals, no seizures, and it's been years and years and years. Okay, so the next question is, can cannabis help with muscle stiffness? It does. Um, CBD, <clears throat> um, both as a relaxant, THC as a relaxant also, um, you see with neurological problems like uh, MS or multiple sclerosis, right. um, you hear of something called the MS hug, which is a, which is a rigidity, right? Like, and in um, the case with other autoimmune and neurological problems, ALS, like you know, the the toes start to stiffen, the feet stiffen, they start to curl up, the hamstrings, the IT band. So, um, <clears throat> THC and CBD, actually, all of the 63 chemicals in that molecule are going to help with a lot of that muscle stiff stiffness both as a symptom but also by stimulating the endocannabinoid system and making it so you're producing your own chemicals and lubricants anyway. Okay. It gets you back online, okay. younger version of yourself. Okay, so the next question is can cannabis help with muscle fatigue? That's a big question. Yes, it can. Um, it can help with muscle fatigue and it can also help with uh, muscle degeneration across the board. So if you're training, um, you know, sativa, CBD, that kind of thing is going to give you energy and it'll keep you training and moving farther. If you have a cardiac problem and you have, you know, some necrosis going on in the muscle of your heart valve, mm -hmm. well, CBD is going to slow down that necrosis or say like in the kidney um, or, you know, any other vital organs, it's going to slow that down and it's going to protect and prevent the body from degenerating in that way. Okay. You know, again, by making it so your body's producing its own natural lubricants and chemicals, and also by giving the body back uh, its intracellular communication. So the body will go back being able to discern between good and bad cells, to discern what is good and bad inflammation, and to manage its symptoms appropriately. It's really powerful. Okay, so the next question is, can cannabis act as a pain reliever? Absolutely. Of course. It acts as a powerful pain reliever, both with deep bone pain, right? It also acts as a powerful pain reliever with topical or acute pain. So, uh, if a long time ago I broke my back, I would take Motrin or Advil for the deep bone pain. Mm -hmm. I would take Tylenol for the, the scrapes and bruises and stuff like that. But then you have, you know, real pain where you have big bad stuff like Norco and morphine and, you know, Dilaudid and all kinds of things that have all kinds of, you know, really bad side effects. Cannabis oil, like um, full extract cannabis oil FECA, um, a couple hundred milligrams of that will have more of a sedating and pain relieving effect on your morphine, you know, regimen. In fact, like if you're taking cannabis oil on that level, you're going to forget about your morphine. Mm -hmm and it's going to uh, give you greater relief and you're not going to be a heroin addict, which is kind of a huge bonus, I would think, if you're deciding which of the pain relievers to select. Mm -hmm. So we see people use uh, the pain reliever pre-surgery, we see them using it post-surgery, we see them using it pre-injury, post-injury, uh, we see them using it pre, during, and post-training, mm -hmm. right? And so 
<clears throat> you know, whether it's topical, oral, um, deep bone, or acute, like cannabis oil is probably the safest pain reliever that you're going to find out there. Absolutely. And it's the most the longest lasting, especially because the way it manages and relieves pain is, is by healing you. So go figure. <laughs> Okay, so the last question is, can cannabis help give you strength for physical therapy? Yeah, just like I've been saying over and over again, sativas will give you energy, indicas will make you relax. If you're having an anxiety panic attack from your physical therapy, take a little indica. It'll get you through it. If you're really low energy and you don't want to do anything, take some sativa. It'll get you through it, mm -hmm. right? It'll get you through your physical therapy because it's going to change and create a better disposition in you. It's going to make you more willing and open to being uh you know to healing to like the the therapy that you're going through it's gonna you know help you through the roughness like my physical therapy is so painful um and at the same time i know it's good for me and i have to do it and so if i take uh actually i take some uplift and i take some king harvest unwind and i take some cbd those three things in combination excuse me those three things in combination before training makes it so um, I feel great, I have lots of energy, and all my inflammation is down. So there really isn't any downside. So yeah, really, really works wonderful. Really good stuff. So thanks again for joining us, everybody. I'm Lee. This is Bridget. We're from King Harvest, kingharvest.org. Give us a call at 877-469-4584. We would love to help you and ask and answer any questions that you might have. Take care. Happy healing. Happy healing. Hi everyone, this is Lee from King Harvest and KingHarvest.org. I wanted to take a moment and thank you all for watching. If you like this video, please go ahead and subscribe or click on one of the videos to your right. Further, if you have any questions or comments, go ahead and leave them below. You can also visit us at KingHarvest.org. Thank you again and happy healing.